Hey, this is Jesse with Create This, and this is my completed bicycle generator. So if you watched the previous two videos where I was putting things together, 3D printing things, you'll know that it is a Kurt Kinetic road machine, which is just a, a fluid bicycle trainer. It's one of the better ones on the market because the fluid is contained within a sealed housing and it's magnetically actuated by the wheel here. So, uh, what I did is I removed the fluid unit and I bolted on a 3D printed housing and a Turnigy AeroDrive 192KV RC hobby motor. It's a, you know, brushless DC motors are really three phase AC motors. You can see that when I, when I turn the motor housing here, the wheel turns. When I turn the wheel, the motor housing turns. Believe it or not, it actually works. Uh, this is my bridge rectifier. This is actually an 80 amp bridge rectifier. I, I, I started out high because I wasn't sure how much power it would create. I have a smaller 35 amp bridge rectifier on the way. Uh, but according to my forward voltage calculations, I think I'm only losing like two watts out of like 50 with this bridge rectifier. So I, I really don't think that it's losing that much power. Let's, uh, let's bring in the solar generator or the wind generator that I use to collect the energy that this thing creates and then we'll do a demonstration. Okay, so to set this up, all you do is plug together these Anderson connectors. Once the Anderson connectors are connected, the next step is to turn on the charge controller. Now we can see here at the moment that this battery meter says that the battery is 100% full. That's not true. As I said before, when the, when the power gets cut to this, it resets the state of charge meter. I haven't charged this battery fully yet using anything while, while this thing has been uh, energized. So this, this state of charge meter is incorrect. The voltage display is correct though. So, um, and also the wattage display. So I'm gonna leave it on the wattage display so that we can see how much power is going into the battery while I pedal. And the first step that we're gonna do here is we are going to change the charge mode from solar to wind. Okay, and let me just verify that that took. Yeah, looks fine. So at this point, I should be able to start pedaling and we will see how much power I can generate. You'll see it says something like 5.6 volts. Um, even when I'm not pedaling. I have no idea why it does that. That's like a resting voltage. There is no voltage coming through that wire to the charge controller right now, but it, it never says zero volts in. Um, I, you know, maybe one of you that knows the why of that can, uh, can explain it to me. Up on the bicycle now and we'll generate some power. Okay, so I think what I normally have to do is I have to get the uh, voltage up above about 14 volts before it'll start charging. But no, this time it actually started charging before that. It says bulk MPPT already. So there we, there we go, six watts. So I can maintain, I've, I've been playing with this for about a day. I can maintain about 20 watts for, I don't know, 30 minutes, something like that. Uh, maybe a little longer. It's uncomfortable but I can certainly do it. Um, I can generate much higher amounts of electricity, but only in brief bursts. So there we go. You saw that go up to like 100 uh, watts. Unfortunately, when you get too high, it turns off bulk MPPT. It goes into absorb mode. So it's hard to say how much power I'm actually generating because it's actually throttling the wattage down. I've seen it go up to like 110 watts, something like that, but I can only maintain that for, I don't know, five seconds. <laughs> I can't maintain it very long. I'm not in the best of shape. Uh, on my bicycle, this is a road bike. I've got lots of gears. This is uh, the third fastest gear. And this is the one that's uh, the most comfortable for me because I like to have a, a high-ish cadence. Now, if I, let's see, that's a faster gear. If I want an even faster cadence, that works, but that feels uncomfortable. 
And then, let's see, a slower gear. This is more of like a sprinter training kind of thing because my, uh, my muscles feel like they're pushing a very heavy weight. And then the highest gear is the worst. So yeah, so I like to, I like to be about three down from the top and I can maintain that not indefinitely, but you know, for a good long time, 30 minutes. And you can see when I'm generating 20 watts, you know, it only puts like 15 into the battery. You get five watts of loss through that charge controller. Well, that's it. This is Jesse with Create This. If you're interested in the 3D printed files for the housing here that'll allow you to adapt this motor to a Kurt Kinetic, I have the link for the 3D printing digital file on my website. If you go and look down below in the description, you'll see a link to that. You can buy the file there if you're interested in making one of your own. All of the other components, the bridge rectifier, all the components for the solar generator, are in other videos. Uh, I think I'll actually put a, a link to the bridge rectifier down below also. So yeah, so hopefully, you know, if you're interested in building one of these, hopefully you, you know, you can find all the parts that you need from the links and the, you know, the build instructions. This is Jesse with Create This. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.